Hi everyone, me again. <laughs> got my bed jacket on, oh, and I've just got to show you my t-shirt. Um, I've got, I don't know what I'm going like that for. Um, can you see that? Not today, thank you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a joke in here. Um, and actually, in fact, it started off with my Lulu. Um, when she's playing about with Maya and, and Maya, I don't know, knocks on, knocks on the door, let's say, like she's been out and she's come back in and, and little Maya will tap on the front door and Lou will go to the door open and go, no, not today, thank you, and shut the door. And it's like a bit of a standard joke in here, like, not today, thank you. So I thought I'm gonna print a t-shirt, not today, thank you. <laughs> just what, I just had to show you that. Yeah, I did this on my cricket machine, it took me bloody ages. I am getting there slowly. And of course, got my bed jacket on. Um, so, uh, I just wanted to show you today a couple of things. So, I've got a couple of things at the pound shop. Seriously, not a lot. We've got five things in there, so that it's nothing substantial. So, it's not like a proper pound shop haul. But what I'm going to do is a couple of Mother's Day arrangements. So, we're going to do a fresh flower one and an artificial one on a budget. So this is budget friendly, you know, especially if, you know, there's some people out there who can't afford to go and buy a, a Mother's Day bouquet, they're like 20 quid, do you know what I mean? Um, so I've literally spent on the flowers, and I'll show you, and I've got these from Morrison's. You can, Audi do lovely flowers, a lot cheaper, but I happen to be in Morrison's and I thought I'd just pick them up. Um, and bouquets are beautiful, but also, it's a nice like posy arrangement, or you know something in an oasis. And um, so, anyway, let's just quickly go to the pound shop bit, and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So, um, oh, I always grab these little these little anti stick. What are they called? What are they called? Anti skid and scratch pads. You put them at the bottom of your chairs as well to stop slipping about. But I put them underneath my arrangement so that they're not. If I've got glass, something glass. Um, or a frame or something, I use these, I've probably told you this before, to go on the bottom to stop scratching the surface. I always get them off even up if I go in the power shop. And you've got, there's like 103, 103 stickers in there. I mean, some of them are really, really tiny, you know? But anyway, oh, and another tip I do, you know the door hooks I hang over the door? I put these on there as well to stop scratching. I know you can't see the top of the door, but um, stop it moving about. You can do it that way. Um, so they're really handy. Always get them. Um, oh, no, that's not for me. That's for someone else. A little mini bottle of wine. I used to go in a Mother's Day hamper. <laughs> um, oh, some, some pencils. I like, I think I showed you these before. I like those, uh, not the ordinary pencil, but I like the plastic pencils with the refills in them. And um, it saves you keep sharpening a pencil. So I like these because you just have a wee bit of them. So I just picked up a packet of them. Bit. Picked up a packet of them. Um, I picked up, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's going to work. A acrylic paint marker. I haven't even got it at the pack, obviously, because I've only just, you know, got me bits here. But I'm going to show you that in a second. So let's move all this out of the way. Um, picked up some more of the LED. These seem to fly off the shelf. In, in the pound shop, they, I mean, it, well, it, they do my local one, they're very rarely there, they're very popular and they are perfect for putting in an arrangement, as you know, at Christmas time, I have them in all my arrangements, they don't wear out, they cost a couple of quid for the batteries, they're a pound each, I always get them. And I get them through the year and put them away. Um, I've picked up an impulse not on an impulse, an impulse spray. Now I remember having these when I was teenagers, impulse sprays. Um, and I never noticed them in the pound shop before. Whether they're all, it's all coming back out in fashion again, I don't know. But I picked up this body fragrance, Hint of Musk. I don't know what it smells like, let's have a look. Oh my God, that is impulse. That is absolute impulse. It doesn't even smell any different to what it did years and years and years ago. God, bloody hell, that's, yeah. And that one's a hint of musk. And obviously back then, it, you wouldn't have had a logo like that. I just remember it 
I think it had like the impulse going across diagonal. Anyway, enough about that. Got one of those just to try it and yeah, it is like that. Got Shawnee's Epsom salts. Um, I want to do laxing. I've got some face wipes. Now these are actually to go in the Mother's Day hampers. Um, these are the Nivea ones. Daily Essentials 0% Alcohol Gentle Cleansing Wipes for face, eyes and lips. And this particular one's for dry skin with, no. Oh, no, okay. Dry skin with natural almond oil. Um, and they're just the Nivea ones. The pound it's not a massive big packet, but they're nice for little hamper treats, you know, for Mother's Day or any little hamper for a gift for somebody. Um, what else do I get? Right, this bowl, I'm going to show you something with this when we get to our arrangement. And also, I've picked up these little plates. Um, and I was looking for something, and I'll come on to that as well, but I happened to see these. And these was in the Easter section. So I'm going to show you something with these, but these are going to be a dual purpose, so we'll come to that. But look how nice they are, and they're china, really nice, like little side plates. So we'll come to that as well. Oh, and crisps, and I've already took them out because I've written bloody bad. But you get 24 packets, uh, flavours are cheese and onion, ready salted, salt and vinegar and prawn cocktail, and there's 24 packets in there, and they're £2 or £3. Pound. I they're £2 or £3. I can't remember, anyway. Right, so, before we get started, go and grab yourself a drink, um, and that, I've already got mine, I've got my ginger tea. And then, I'm gonna just quickly move this bag out of the way and get a bit organized, and then I'll be back, so I'll see you in a moment. Oh, where's my chair, so, okay, we're ready. We're ready to rock and roll. So, Morrison's, um, for some flowers, I'll come to, on to that in a minute. Now what I'm gonna do is um, a wet foam, obviously, because they're, they're proper flowers. Bearing in mind, don't forget, I'm not florist, so I'm, I'm literally going with how I would do an artificial one, but with fresh flowers on a budget. So in the range, and I, I don't know whether home bargains do them, um, they're quite dotted about, you can get, I'll take that out in a minute, these little plastic um, brick tray. They're about a quid, or you might be able to get like three for a quid or something like that, I don't know, but, or 75p, they're only, they're literally plastic. Then you get your foam, your wet foam, and you can also get that in the range as well if you've got a range near you or order them online and you want the wet green foam. Um, and I think a, a, a brick of that is like a pound as well. So, most of you know what I'm going to say anyway, because this is just standard stuff. Fill up a container with water. I've just got my, a glass Pyrex one. I could, I did have a, a big Tupperware one, I can't find it. So I filled it up with water and I put the brick in the water and I soaked it. Um, it was probably in there, it didn't take long to soak, but I... I probably left it there while I was pottering about for about half an hour and that and I'm thinking maybe or, or was it now it's between half an hour and an hour while I was pottering about and then I turned it over to make sure the other end got done as well so that's nice and soaked nice and soaked um and I had filled that up to about there and there's got drain left in there so I'll just move that over there a minute and I've got um some flowers as I say from from Morrison's now to be fair they're not you know fantastic the roses I've got the roses here and I'm looking at these these now these were mix and match two for fiver they're only little stems and you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine stems on there um, you get your flower what's it called flower food or whatever with it um, and they're supposed to last a minimum of five days. So I probably would, if you're gonna do an arrangement, do it on Saturday. Got all your instructions about your care and everything. So when I look on here, when I look at these buds, they're okay, 
Again, not that I'm anywhere near a florist and I'm not pretending I am at all, but when you look closely at them, let me come closer to the camera, there's quite a lot of um, brown on them. On the tips as well, I don't know if you can see this one. Where's my finger? <laughs> right here, you might not be able to see very clear, but when I look at these, they, I would have to strip back, especially on this one here. Can you see all the brown marks on it? Um, I would take, I would take the outside petals off um, if you if you want to be a bit more fussy. I would just strip them off because they are a little bit brown around the outside. Um, yeah. So anyway, so we've got some of them. They also have now. I really like carnations. They last long, longer than roses. I think um, I, I grow them in the garden. And they're such, and they smell beautiful. I mean, these are not quite budding yet, but I just like my nations. Um, and these are again two for a fiver or three pounds each. And look at that great big stem there. That not, you know, it's really nice. And I picked up two. I picked up because I'm going with like yellow and white. So I've got the white and I've got yellow. Uh, as I say, two for a fiver or three pounds each. So that's a lovely little bunch. And I picked up a little bit of greenery, just for some fillers to go in there. I don't know what this is called, because it's got nothing on it. And this was three pounds for like a stem. Now what I have also done, now you've got two stems there for three quid. Um, but what I have done is gone in my garden and also picked off some greenery. I haven't got a lot of greenery at the moment. Obviously nothing's really flowering and because I haven't got an established garden with shrubs and all that in it I've not got a lot I mean people who grow things like this you've probably got stems like this so use them you know they're in your garden they're free so what I did was I went in the garden obviously and I cut back some lavender which I'm going to strip back because obviously this bit down here is a bit brown so I only want the, the nice green bits but to be fair, once you stick them in and you put all the flowers on top of it, you're not going to see them bits anyway. So I've just got some um, rosemary, we're going to trim back. Not rosemary, I've got rosemary, hold on, that was lavender. Some lavender we're going to strip back, some rosemary. Now rosemary at the moment is, is starting to, to bloom, like the little purple flowers, lavender flowers. And I think they're so pretty, look. A little bit of, per little bit of lilac in there. So I've got some sprig, look at that one. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. Anyway, so I've got some sprigs of rosemary, plus it gives off a nice smell with the lavender. Except for the lavender, I don't really smell at the moment. The rosemary does. And then I went and got off of my hedge. I don't know what these are called. Hedges. Picked off some sprigs off of my hedge. And this is like, you know, like, um, what's it called? The fern trees, like Christmas trees, I can't think what they're bloody called now. But I've got a big one of those out the front as well, so I've picked off some of that. So we've got a nice arrangement to do. We've got a nice, we've got a nice lot of stuff to do a nice arrangement. That's what I mean. So I'm gonna prepare all this and get it ready, then I'll come back. Alright, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, we're we're back. <laughs> Now, in the meantime, off camera, look, God help us. Hold on, one minute. Right, so in the meantime, I got the um, cut, what I wanted to cut up. I got the flower food I've put in the bottom of the container where I soaked the uh, oasis, and I've just put the oasis back in it so it's gonna absorb that um, flower food. Right, so I'm gonna chuck this back in here, like that. And then while that's doing, hang on, I'm going to get another piece of foam because I reckon we're going to have enough to do um, another little arrangement on there, like little round posies. So I've just got blocks of foam. I'm going to cut that to size. One minute. Kind of, let's put the clip, swinging the knife around now. Um, Put the knife down, Nick. I can hear you all saying, right. 
just chuck that one over there. I think we need a bit more. Cut that out. And then trim it up. And I reckon that would be all right. So, get out of logs and salt in the bucket over there a minute. Now, I'm going to soak that one. So, literally, I'm, I'm filling it up probably half halfway so that the oasis is half full. Let that be soaking. Let's get the other um, flour food and we'll put that in there as well. So should absorb that. And then we'll do that one after. Okay, so back to our other one. Now obviously you can use any type of um, base. I mean that's pretty ugly. I would if I had a nice like serving like if that was oval like that that would look really nice on there that's what i was trying to look for but um when i went down the shop i, I couldn't see any but they had these so i picked them up to do two little poses and then for easter so anyway let's get on let's get on so i've cut back some cut them all down to certain lengths you can't see them they're all down here i've cut that now that stuff there now this is what i've got left at that three pound bunch right after I took it out of the packet, right, that's what I've got, that. Now that's just, to me, that's just one stem for three pound. I didn't think it was worth it because when I took it out of the packet, a minute, this, within that packet there was all dead. I just, look, you can see I've left some bits on there to show you. It was all like that. I've had to strip the whole lot off and that's what I'm left with. So I don't think that's really worth it. When you go in the garden and just get some you know, bits and pieces that go on for free, especially when you're on a budget. So that is not worth the money, I don't think. Look, that one, so, it's just nothing, isn't it? I mean, that's, it's so, oh, it will go in, but it's just droopy. I think we'll take them bits off and try and just salvage the little end bits. Right, okay, so let's just work our way. Round. I think I'm going to start with the foliage around the bottom and then start putting the flowers in it and working my way that way. So if I don't talk, I'm concentrating. And I can hear Bruno snoring in the background. So if you hear any little noises, it's not me. Now when I'm doing my arrangements, as you know, I like to try and keep it in, in, in a, like a format. So what I do on one corner, I go and do it on, on all the corners. Doesn't always work out like that, but that's how I try and do it. If I can. Quite not windy out there. So all I'm doing, it's a bit hard for you to see because it's the light in here on the light background is not good. That's when I need like a black tablecloth to go under so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, just keep going. I think I could just keep going for a minute. as much in there as I can. And then, but I want to save a couple bits for the top as well. So I think we'll do a bit more around here. 
a bit more this side because that looks a bit sparse on that side. Okay, right. And then we just put it on the top. you can see it's kind of it's kind of, hang on kind of taking shape around the outside so I'm going to keep going and so a bit of this to go on it right on the top in the middle Turn over the other oasis, let the other end soak, but it is practically soaked. Um, I think I want to put a bit of rosemary in here as well. I think that's quite pretty, even though it's lavender and we've got yellow and white. So, but let's just do it anyway. Might break up the colour, if you know what I mean. Start adding some of our little. No, we'll keep the little spare buds. Let's do some of these first. <clears throat> okay, so let me mark that. I'm going on the opposite corner again, so I'm going this side. And then I'm going to go on this corner. If you can see here where I'm here, probably can't see very well, can you? Just a little bit. And then I'm going to go on this corner. And again, I'm going to work my way around. Then I'm going to start putting some little buds in here and there. Um, this side. Here, up the top. Like that. And as you can see, I took it up. <coughs> see, it's starting to fill out. Now I know it looks like just loads of twigs coming out, but it will look nice because we're going to fill it in with lots of greenery as well. So I'm just going to carry on till I get a bit more and then I'll show you then, right? So a minute. Right, so I've put all this together. Oh, nearly dropped it. <laughs> I nearly dropped it. I tipped it forward, but I just want to show you. <gasps> See, now the water's coming out now, so I've got to be careful. There. Look how nice that looks. Now, this is more what I would say which i said to you earlier i wanted lots of foliage and not so many loads and loads of flowers um just the odd flower dotted here there and it just reminds me of a bit like um i don't know wild flower field do you know what i mean so you've just got a whole mixture actually i'm going to move that one out the way and dot it maybe over here so you can see it a bit better over this side but the whole oasis is completely full. Let's put that in there. It's completely covered. You cannot see it at all. Um, if I tip the camera down rather than that, you can see it a bit better. 
Uh, oh, camera's swiveling around the place. So you can see it's nice and full, got lots of foliage in it, looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna put that in a minute. I'm gonna get a little side table and put it on side table so you can see it from a distance. So we'll do that in a minute. So I'm just gonna move it over here. Now, because I've used all the flowers and all the floral stuff for this, and it's probably, I didn't judge it right. I should have had more to do an extra one. Um, and because that's quite a long brick, it's obviously taken up all the flowers and all the foliage. So the other one, which I've had soaking to go on here, I've run out obviously, but I can take some out there and put it in here. But just to show you, so soak it, it's on the little plate. Now, that actually to me is a bit big. You want a plate or a bowl or something with, with lips on it because um, around the edge, obviously, because you've got to have the water in it. And obviously if you haven't, it's just gonna spill out everywhere. So you want either something quite deep or something, you know, decent. But let's cut this foam, where's my knife gone? Let's cut that bit smaller because that's gonna be too big as well. Let me, so cut it a bit smaller. So I'm more like that shape. Now obviously you can tape that down if you want to, to hold it in place or not. And then we start, you know, placing your florals or your, your greenery, um, whatever. So if I just take these roses out of here for a minute, we'll put them in there and we'll just quickly do another little, a little one just to show you. But really, actually, I'd like to cut these down, but I'm not going to cut them down. But we're, let's just quickly do this. Place them around. Jesus. Um, I'd, I'd still make them shorter, but I, I don't want to use them shorter because I want to keep them long, so I'm going to put them back in the other arrangement. But I would cut them a bit shorter, actually, if you're gonna do a little small posy type shape. That's not going in there very well. All right. So we're gonna thread them in, going at like, you know, like all different angles. And then you've got your base, obviously, and then you just start, you know, filling it in again with loads of different stuff. So let's grab up some more of these because we can always put these back in here. It's not a problem. Let's grab some of these carnations. And then I can add them back in later. Oh God, I pulled a head off now. Right. Keep going, keeping them long because I want to reuse these back on the other side. Um, I'm going to work my way round. And then I'll come back and show you in a minute. How this one turns out. A minute. Oh, right. But you can kind of get to see the shape where I'm going, right? So we just keep going a bit. Now I'm dropping. I'm flipping, dropping them everywhere. The little heads. Right. I'll be back in a second. Right. So I'm just about finishing off this. So this is another alternative of a little round, inexpensive little floral arrangement. You sit on your table. All right, it, it's not the greatest arrangement because as I said, I'm not a florist. I'm just trying to give you ideas um, for, you know, inexpensive 
Mother's Day gifts um, or Mother Day arrangements or whatever. But it's quite pretty. It's on the little, the little dish, which we've got from the pound shop. It's on the little dish here. Um, and then obviously you can use the, di the dish shaft as well as a little side plate. Um, it's very, very spring-like. Very pretty, you can rearrange your flowers wherever you want them. I've just literally done it like that. But look how pretty that is. The back, I've not even done the back because I'm just literally showing you, um, you know, it, it would look like that if I had more flowers to go all the way around the back. And obviously I've got my, a lot of my foliage in there as well to make it more like you know, like a wild flower kind of scene, if you like, um, with some greenery, and, and it still looks pretty. So, um, I was going to do some artificial ones, but I'm not going to get time in this one. So, um, because I wanted to show you what I was going to do with this, I wanted to show you what I was going to do with this. Um, and you know I take a long time and then I start chatting and, and whatnot. You can't see the eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to call it a day and then I'll be back soon to show you some more little, some ideas. All right. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Ciao.